Hi, this is Anne with Finance on the Offense. You've probably heard that you're supposed to pay yourself first to kind of get ahead with personal finance and investing. But what does that really mean? When I first heard this phrase, I was a little confused, honestly. I was like, I don't pay me, my job pays me. So what does this even mean? So in this video, I'm going to go over what it means to pay yourself first when it comes to finance and investing. All right, let's get started. Okay, so pay yourself first basically means that when you get your paycheck and the money's in your bank, you go ahead and you take some out and you either invest it or you put it in a different savings account. And this is the first thing you do with your paycheck money before buying anything, whether it's rent, food, or anything like that. Now let's say you're 25 and under and you wanna become a millionaire by the time you're 60. So this would mean that every paycheck, every two weeks, you would take $250 out of that money and put it into a Roth IRA and invest it at 8% and then you wake up at 60 and you're a millionaire. Now, if you didn't understand anything I just said, um, take a look at this other video right up here at the top of your screen and it tells you the easiest way to become a millionaire if you're 25 or younger. But back to paying yourself first and that concept, by removing the money from your account and investing or saving it, you're basically paying yourself before anyone else. Now I get it, some of us simply just can't do this. Um, we're drowning in student loan debt, we've got other debts, maybe some medical debt, or we just barely make enough to get by. But I wanna challenge you, especially if you're always confused about where your money went by the end of the month, to give this strategy a try. If you don't have an emergency fund, that can be what you're paying yourself first to build. An emergency fund is usually about three months of expenses up to six months of expenses. Then once your emergency fund is funded, um, go ahead and switch to investing with this strategy. Doing this pretty much removes the temptation to skip your investments and spend it on other things. Here are a few options to pay yourself first. A three to six month emergency fund if you don't already have one. A Roth IRA contribution. And don't forget to invest the money once it's in your Roth account. Everyone forgets to do that and it kind of drives me crazy. And if you don't know how, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you. A 401k contribution. 401k contributions are automatically taken out of your paycheck before you even get it. So in that case, paying yourself first already happens before you even get the money into your account. So doing this would just be a matter of talking to your employer and setting up your 401k if it's offered. A car fund. My parents had a car fund for several years since they always drove older cars and had no idea when one would randomly break down. And this is just a savings account that they could use for repairs or even buying another used car. A house fund. This could be for a new house or for your current house home repairs. And it would also just be a savings account. All right, so that's what paying yourself first is all about. And if you put that money in a savings account as opposed to investing it, if you find that it's not working, you can always dip into that savings account to pay whatever's left at the end of the month if it's a necessity. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button and I'll see you next week with another Finance on the Offense video. Thank you.